Welcome to the Infinite Graph Flight Plan Sample Tutorial. In this video we will go over the basic concept of the sample, downloading the sample, and running the sample. First let's talk about the graph. For this sample we will represent airports as vertices in our graph. Flights will be the connection between these vertices. These will be saved as edges in the graph. Here's a more traditional view of the graph. This screenshot is taken from the Infinite Graph Visualizer. The most important aspect of using a graph database is navigation. Our navigation is represented by how we choose to fly from one airport to another. As you can see, we have a number of choices. Let's look at our map again. When it comes to choosing a flight, we want to get the best deal without waiting around at airports during layovers. Some flights are relatively inexpensive some are more expensive, and others are very expensive. Here's the graph again, with the prices visible on the edges. The price of a flight is stored as an attribute of the flight object. Let's say we want to fly from Amsterdam to Phoenix. We could fly straight there, or we could get a better price if we stop over in New York. With this understanding of our use case, let's start working with the sample code. The first thing we need to do is go to the Infinite Graph website where we can download the sample. Here you'll see a link under product for install help examples. Click that link. It will take you to the Infinite Graph wiki page. On the left hand side under tutorials and examples, there's a link for download more examples. Click that link. That takes us to the full list of our samples. We're interested in the flight plan sample. You can either right click and select a download location or left click and it'll automatically download. Now that you've downloaded the sample, you're going to go ahead and extract it directly. And when you look inside the folder for the sample, you'll see a couple things. First of all, there's a README. This includes all the instructions to run the sample. There are some launch files. These are for running the sample in Eclipse. There's a build file to use with Ant to run the example from the command line. The source folder contains all the Java files. The data folder will contain the graph database once it's created. Right now it's empty. And finally, the config folder contains the properties files. We have two different properties files. Uh, one is here for graph creation, the other one is when we actually run our process on the graph to search for the correct flight. Now let's look at the sample in Eclipse. First thing we'll do is create a new project. So select new Java project. Then we're going to navigate to the sample folder. As you can see, it's pulled in all of the source, as well as the launch files. You'll notice there's an angry red X here. That's because the configuration is not completely set up. We need to include two jar files. So we'll right click on the project, select build path, add external archives. Here's where we include our infinite graph jar. Infinite Graph also comes with a logging jar. Go ahead and select both of those. You'll see that they've been included here. So there's two different parts when you run this sample. There's the part where we create the actual graph database and then where we run it by including the data and searching for a particular flight. So first let's look at how we create the graph. Here we've included the name of our graph and the properties file. In our sample we call graph factory create to go ahead and create the graph. Now when we run the sample, here we open the graph. In the function where we create the data, we begin our transaction and when we're creating data we use a read write transaction. Here we are adding vertices, calling add vertex on the graph, and here's where we add our edges. 
Here's where we navigate the graph using the find cheapest flight method. If you'd like more information about navigating the graph, you can go to the Infinite Graph wiki page and select Navigating the Graph. Now let's run the sample. Go ahead and right click on Flight Plan Create DB Launch. Select Run As, Flight Plan Create DB. In the console you'll see that we've created a new graph database. Now let's run our Java file where we import data and navigate the graph. And in the output you'll see leaving from Amsterdam and arriving in Phoenix, we found four different flights. Of these flights, the cheapest flight was the one from Amsterdam to LaGuardia, then to Phoenix. And you'll see down here that that is the one that we have selected. If you prefer to run the sample from the command line, you can use the ant build XML file. Navigate to the sample folder, compile the sample, run create db and then select run and you'll see in your folder that we've created the graph under data this concludes our tutorial thank you for choosing infinite graph